Okay, so I want to welcome all students to uh, this uh, first and last inaugural class of uh, mathematics. Uh, my name is Professor uh, Stone, and uh, what we want to do today is talk about uh, the cross product. So uh, the cross product is uh, a vector that uh, has a magnitude, which is uh, how long the vector is, and it also uh, has a direction. Hold on a minute. Wait, wait. No, that's a vector. That's what a vector is. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so then uh, the cross. What, what? What is the cross product? Well, okay, okay. Yeah. So, let me tell you. Well, it's right here in front of you, right? So, what a cross product is is it is an operation that is performed on two vectors, and when it is performed on those vectors, it produces another vector that is parallel, or I mean parallel, that is perpendicular to both of the vectors. Uh, so what would that be useful for? So, well, it could be useful for many things. Uh, in, our, in our case, we're gonna take the cross product and we're gonna use it um, to, 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 to figure out which direction and how much of a rotation we need to, to rotate our missile Towards the player. Oh, okay. So I see. So uh, uh, basically, you're gonna take that resulting vector. You're gonna uh, look at the magnitude of it and the direction, and you're gonna tell. You're gonna be able to tell which way uh, to 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 change the rotation. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, but as I said, it's useful for other things as well. So we should go ahead and add it into our repertoire now. A 2D cross product doesn't make any sense because there is no perpendicular z value in a, in a two-dimensional cross product there, there is no such thing so our vectors are going to be or these vectors are going to be three dimensions so they're going to be vector threes but we're kind of going to fake it a little bit because we're in 2d land right now so um oh, i'm not sure where we're going to put it We'll probably put it in utils since it really doesn't belong in vector two since again vector two you can't really have a cross product of two two-dimensional vectors but this little page right here that I, mathisfun.com um, has a nice little definition of the cross product has a has a definition of a vector which we already know about assuming so here's the cross product of a a cross b and do note that a cross b is not the same as b cross a because that it it will affect your result depending on if you do a cross b or b cross a so here's how we can calculate the cross product um, and then we can also calculate it this way which is the way we are going i believe the way we're going to do it so we'll we'll just take this and implement it in our code so what we'll do first is we'll go into uh, utilities directory and we will say function let's do u dot cross and we may if we come up with some 3d vectors that we need we'll just put this in the 3d vector class but for now oh, do we want to do it the right way or not do it the right way. let's do it the, oh, mm, let's do it the right way that was so painful. I'm very sorry that it was so pain painful. Let's do a vector three. Let's make a vector three module. I'm going to do this. That's going to be a vector three. Um, and we'll go ahead and create. We'll make it to where you can create vector threes. And a vector three is just going to have that additional z component that we're going to say points. Uh, the z axis will point uh, into or out of the screen itself. If you can visualize that, and we're going to return v. So we want a function, and we'll call it v dot. Or no, remember when we modify or when we create a new value, we'll do we'll use dot. That makes the most sense. So we'll do v dot cross, and um, uh, this is going to okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we can do this a couple of different ways, and I'm just trying to trying to think about how we would want to do this. 
So we'll have one vector and then another vector. So vector one and vector two. And these are, so we'll say takes, takes two vector three objects and returns their cross product. Okay, so uh, let's open up this and let's uh, do a little bit of siding here like so. Now we can implement this function. So let's do that. Uh, let's uh, return uh, v. We're making a new uh, vector. So the x is going to be uh, a y plus b z. So that's the cross product of a and b. So a is going to be v1, v1 dot y times v2 dot z minus v1 dot z times uh, let's instead v1 and v2 let's uh, follow the convention here yeah, why don't you follow the convention yeah that's think I think that's what I'm gonna do we'll just do a B so that we match with this little, little formula that we have here and then we'll go ahead and continue this uh, a dot Z times B dot X minus dot x times b dot z and then the z component will be a dot x times dot y minus a dot y times b dot x like a soul <clears throat> yeah yeah that's good that's good so now we got a cross product. So what we're going to need to do, um, close this little fella here. Uh, let's let's re-embiggen this. So in our test, let's also include vector three, and let's just do a little test. We will test at the beginning scene here for the new, and we will print. Let's print this so that we'll we'll check it with their little example just to see if it works. So we'll say dot uh, cross. Okay, dot cross vector three two comma three comma four comma vector three five comma six comma seven. So we will print that and hopefully there's no errors, which there is, it, it didn't close uh, parenthesis. So now that will work. No, it won't. On local B, a table value. Okay, we've got something wrong. Uh, B. Oh, right here. You probably saw it already. Boom. Oh, and I need to set the uh, debug mode to enabled. Boom, and of course we get a table, so that of course I'm trying to do things too quickly. What did we do here? We do, oh yeah, 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 we don't want that. Utils is unmodified. Uh, we need to print uh, this. Say local C equals that. No place. C dot X. C dot Y. Z dot Z. And we get minus 3, 6, and 3, which is exactly this. So for now, I'll take that as verification that we did it right. Um, and we will go on with our merry lives. <laughs> now, the, the question comes in, which is... Where is our uh, should we tell should this be yes, I think it should. Let's we maximize this. Let's call this missile. Not missile, yes, missile. And we'll call it missile. 
Yes. So we need to go back in here and we need to say missile take rename. Hopefully that still works. We'll check. We're all good. So let's give the missile itself, the missile, a target. So let's go back into missile. Missile. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can say a function um, e uh, e target object. Okay, and uh, we probably want to assert certain things about it. Let's uh, say uh, pose. Uh, we need actually we do need an object with a position on it. So this uh, sets the target. So we will have a local target object. So when we set object here, so now when we update, let's say if target object is not equal to nil, so we're going to do all this stuff inside the missile code. And that may or may not be a good idea. I don't know. That's what we're going to do. So first, we will take and do a cross product. Cross product equals vector three dot cross. A vector three, and we'll use self dot right dot position dot x self dot sprite dot position dot y zero, and then that next vector will be our target object. Now the question is going to be, what is the target? I think we'll just pass in whatever the object ha is that has the dot position or basically that two dimensional uh, uh, vector. So it'll be dot position dot y target object dot position dot x and zero. And uh, let's uh, just for now, let's uh, print that. Like so. So we need, uh, when we set uh, this uh, missile, and when we add him to the scene, we need to say self uh, target. And then our player and his sprite component, because that's what has the position on it. Let's see what we get. Then expected. Oh. Language confusion. Attempted <laughs> uh, to call him with a target. Uh, no, it's here. It's right here. Uh, 18. Yes. E dot target. That's our missile. Attempt to index. Uh, oh, no, no. Self dot. E. Now you can tell me. Okay, good, 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 good. Attempt to index global variable ver vector three, which because we haven't put this in here, so we'll do that. Boom, boom, and we will need instead of printing cp, we'll print cp dot x, like we did last time. Cp dot y. Oops. P dot Z. Like this. You'll see we have a large number. Let's go. Did we? No, it was in player. Let's go re enable in player. Yeah, 
let's re-enable this up and down so we can change uh, the direction of this rotation. So we have a positive, which is really, yeah, he's going to have to rotate one way or the other. So if we go this way, you can see it's getting larger. We come over here. See, that's a negative, negative zero. For some reason, that doesn't feel right to me. Three, two, one, there's your negative. Oh, you know what? We <laughs> we need to get a vector. Yeah, we need to get a vector to... We're not doing that right. Um, so really, the missile needs a... It's not... Yeah, I'm sorry. We need a vector that is local uh, missile to... Ob target target so that's going to be vector 2 dot subtract um, target object dot position and uh, vector 2 self dot x self dot y so you need an actual vector from our missile to the target and that's the one that we need to use down here um, yes and Yeah, we need really need two uh, vectors. The one is the missile to the target, and local, we need a missile direction. And that is going to be dependent upon the rotation of the missile. It's going to be dependent upon the rotation of the missile. Now, did we do any of this? Didn't we do some ATAN or ATAN2 stuff? Gosh, we didn't. So as the missile changes direction, that is going to be our other vector. So we need a missile to the target. So let's go ahead and we'll say that that is going to be here. And then our missile direction is going to be here. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to say self.sprite dot, what is it, rotation. This may involve a little bit more uh, mathematical calculations. Uh, angle. We've got angle there. Okay. So that's angle. Um, and I'm trying to remember what that is. Uh, and as our missile is right facing, we're going to need to change all this. Oh, goodness, this is going to be fun. Vector 2, we'll say angle. It'll, be, it'll look something uh, like this. Missile direction is vector 2, uh, math.sign. No, I think it's cosine of that um, that's bright that angle and then uh, math dot sign self dot sprite dot angle I'm gonna run that um, I'm gonna have to check on that I'm not really sure if that is completely correct there are quadrant uh, sign changes and such that I think here vector two attempt to index global vector no I didn't rename it <laughs> okay attempt to perform arithmetic operation 
uh, vector three dot lua. Oh, here. Yes, of course. And there we go. So if whoops, if I bring them over here, more reasonable numbers occur. And this is good, but it should go down to zero. I think, and let's go back this way. We're still not there. The this guy here, target object dot position, self x and y. That let's just do this. Self dot that's the problem. Self dot sprite dot position. Sorry about that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're getting something that looks a little bit different now. We get there, and then we can say here, yeah. And if we go over this way, it's going to be, yeah, so right, mm, right, right now, what, what we're going to need to do is probably that angle is going to need to because i think this is actually pointing it is it's pointing up currently because our angle is zero but really our missile the way we have our missile is oriented to the right so if we just add 90 degrees to both of these then we will get what we want because x cosine uh is that right what we should see is Think that is correct. Let me bring this over here. So you see, it shouldn't change here. It should actually change this way. Now that's assuming that I've got the rotation correct. It may need to be a negative. Or no, is that is that here? Let's check this little vector here. All right. So really, this may actually be correct. So what we should have, if that is correct, we should have an x of 1 and a y of 0, which we do. So that's right, I believe. All right. Well, let's just go with that. Oops. So then if we do that, then basically what we'll have is the sign of this cross product or the, the sign of the Z value of this cross product is going to tell us which way to rotate and the value is going to tell us the amount. So let's just start messing around here and do angle, the angle of the sprite equals... And this is going to, of course, change this vector too. So hopefully this works. But we'll try it. Um, plus cp.z times dt. I think. Whoa, look at him go. Whoa. Well, that's not, not correct, is it? Let's try something else just real fun, for fun. Um, what are we looking at here? 23? Yeah, we'll have to, we'll probably have to take this up at the next episode. It's not sine, it's, uh, let's see, uh, Lua sine, I'm going to look this up off camera real quick. Um, math.sign, I thought, yeah. Oh, Oh, that's a different little wiki. Okay. Let's let's just do this. I just want to see which direction it rotates. So it rotates that way if it's one. All right. Oops. So is that consistent with what we have? We may have our cross product backwards. I'm not sure. 
um, and oh, let's we're gonna need to do this because we don't want that to change. So if it's one, or if it's a positive, it's gonna rotate to the right. Let's see, positive will rotate to the right. See that looks good. Negative, it's gonna rotate that way. Positive will be this way. It still should be. Yeah, we got some things to look into here. All right, we're going to wrap it up here, and next time we will come back and we'll finish having our little missile, this little missile, seek out the player. Should be cool. See you next time.